Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic mod review series. Today, we're going to be talking about five best electricity mods. And mod types, again, this is my opinion, this is what uh, I learned playing this game, and hopefully it's gonna be helpful to you as well, so let's get started. First one, and actually the best one in this one in this uh, uh, presentation, is the Transition Station Pack by Shotkey. Obviously Shotkey knows what he's talking about, I have a history, uh, my high school degree was in electrical engineering, and uh, I was shocked when I found out how realistic this looks uh, compared to vanilla ones. They are just a joke. This is this is how the um, transformer stations should look. Also, you have the switches. Switches are this is high voltage switch, and we have two small medium voltage switches uh, that we're gonna cover as well. Now these ones I've been using absolutely all the time. First of all, functionality. Second of all, realism. Actually, I don't know which one. Why would I put the first? In first place realism because they look extremely realistic or the how effective they are uh, let me show you why so these have uh, bigger ones have two high voltage connections i'm going to show you here if we select high vo voltage connection you can see where they go uh, the smaller one has one and now the benefit of them this is how many uh, medium voltage connections you have this one has four on the side and then you have another 12 over here i think it's 16 altogether um uh, connections this is the bigger one uh mostly use the bigger ones because your city is usually needed you i use the one also for the industrial areas and so on and so on and then you have this smaller one that has four on the side and eight here so that would be 12 compared to 16 that this one has this one has two uh high voltage inputs by the way just a heads up and uh oh sorry about that it's a little bit on the loud side but um hey ho i think this is just a little bit a mod bug or whatever the sound when you click on these and then uh we have these switches this is one switch and there are two more over here i can't describe how realistic they are as well because usually in a smaller towns uh, even in the bigger towns you will see a couple of those now you don't have to connect them to your uh, biggest high voltage cables for realism you can always uh, give it a go with the smaller ones for example if we go for for these cables they would look uh, much more visually appealing you can see here that this one has uh one two three four four connections and this one has five connections what do i mean by five connections i mean this you have actually five different directions that you can use these uh, switches for. Uh, the bigger one here you have, uh, it has uh, four as well. It has one input from that side and then you have uh, four of them that you can build here. So actually this is absolutely essential in my favorite mode regarding electricity infrastructure. If you want to learn more, you have a link in the description of the video. Moving on, we have Efficient Electric Heating Plant by Matiniov. Uh, the game makes it clear, small heating plant heats uh, 210 cubic meters of water with uh, 42 gigajoules of energy per day. This comes out as just around 0.5 megawatts of uh, constant power for 24 hours. And as we all know, uh, converting electricity into heat is always 100% efficient. So I say, hey, let me heat up your water without need of transporting coal or oil into this remote area. If I have perfectly fine 18 uh, megawatt, uh, 18, 18 megawatt line of power here anyway. Uh, this is exactly what the uh, heating plant is uh, all about. So uh, this is a heat uh, um, heating uh, heat converter, let's call it. it. It converts electricity energy into heat and you have several uh, heat pipe connections to it and it's quite quite decent. Now I'm gonna tell you something that they are notorious for consuming a lot of electricity. Not so much as you will find out in this case but um, it's more and more efficient. Now there's a discussion uh, in the comments section of this mod, um, how uh, unrealistically efficient coal power plants in this game are, vanilla ones especially, uh, so you will, uh, this actually works better for you because it doesn't create any pollution, pollution is generated where the electricity is generated, but these small heating plants do not generate pollution themselves, they heat surrounding area, plus they have an additional um, uh, heating pipes that you can spread out the heat throughout your city, now, they are not 
too big and there's 100, 140 gigajoules of heat uh, I believe that uh, this is quite realistic but you for a bigger city like 20,000 people you're gonna need three or four of these uh, to have everything covered and to have the perfect coverage but so uh, they're realistic extremely realistic like in real life um, but if they are combined with a vanilla coal power plant a coal power plant is unrealistic it produces more electricity uh, compared to how much coal it consumes but um, you have a discussion if you want to join in the comments section of this uh, mod but in my book this is quite quite realistic uh, and I like this mod a lot previous electricity heating plants uh, used to create a little bit of a problem with your power um, power network but these ones don't I'm using this mod for a while now and I'm extremely happy with it so uh, just to show you there's a couple of a uh, couple of heat connections for big heating pipes if you want to spread it around but just bear in mind that you are uh, producing seven 100 cubic meters of hot water and the capacity of three pipes is 900 so don't rely that it's going to be connected perfectly that you're going to be able to uh, spread it out on three different places plus there are losses uh, of heat uh, when they go through pipes and so on and so on this is kind of a must i'm still in a process of implementing this everywhere but i love this mod link in the description of the video next up a small transformer and four-way switch by off the rails gaming two cut down versions of power transformer one with high voltage throughput two uh, high voltage and two medium voltage connections uh, one four medium voltage connections and large version of high power throughput also available so these are um, uh, how do you call these uh, one of them is switch uh, this one is a four way I think this is this is a four-way switch and this is a small true but let's let me cover this um like this this is probably gonna be the better way to show it so th these two are transformers this and this is transformer transformers because they have a high voltage input uh, they are outputting either two or four connections so this is the same as small vanilla one uh, what's the difference they actually have a throughput of electricity you don't have to build switches for them you can just continue your power lines on one and the other side and it goes in both directions electricity so it's not like an end uh, transformer like like the vanilla one as you can see here vanilla one has only one high voltage connection while this one has uh, two uh, and they work as a throughput so this is a really good uh, thing if you want if you're tight on space and if you was trying to save the space I've been using these for years now they're absolutely fabulous smaller one not so much because usually when I put it I put extra stuff extra connectors extra medium uh, voltage uh, connections but uh, the small one works as perfect as the big one the second one is something that you're probably going to be using a lot and this is the three-way switches sorry four-way switches uh, this is just for medium voltage you put one input you have three outputs or they work vice versa as well uh, but the, uh, vanilla ones they usually have only uh, they usually have only three connectors and this one has four so it gives you that a little, little bit additional oomph that you always were looking for so something that I've been using for years now and I hope it's going to help you guys as well Next up, Emir Var Emrace. Uh, high voltage railroad electric connection. The mod allows you to connect high voltage power up to 13 megawatts, just a heads up, uh, to your rail system. Trains uh, propel all Soviet republics. This mod allows you to power them up properly, comrade. Okay, so there's a little bit more description, so please go and check it out. Now, you need to remember yourself that this is only to 13, it says here 14, but let's say 13 uh, megawatts uh, connections, so don't use your 18 megawatt uh, cables. You go to just to save a little bit, uh, you know, uh, of uh, steel by making cables. Uh, you should be using up to 13 megawatts i think we should have 14 one as well if you want to chance it with that give it a little bit more electricity but i find this lacking in vanilla uh, where you only have electricity connection for your uh, for your railroads it only has uh, is this one sorry about that this is trolley bus uh, right here uh, railroad electric connection it has four smaller uh, uh, connectors and they look extremely messy when you connect it to your railroad you have a wire sticking on every side and it's not as high capacity as this uh, if you used these electric chains and these transformer stations you would know that these are pain in the ass to, to set up and I fully endorse these high voltage ones especially when you put them near your heavy traffic like let's say towards the border crossing you're always gonna have a lot of trains there so definitely a great mod uh, I 
I think it's quite realistic and I don't mind using it and I am using it in my let's plays. If you want to know more, you have a link in the description of the video. So, vanilla game doesn't offer you any affordable solutions to your power generation. You have these renewables, but they are... You can wipe your ass with them. Uh, if you want real power, you need to start using fossil fuels in this game. And this is where Frotzi and the power plant come in play. This is a small power plant coal. Now, there's upsides and downsides to this power plant. It's a little bit more efficient than average, uh, but it has a lot of downsides. Uh, first of all, it doesn't have external storage that you can connect it to this. Uh, so you have to have uh, trucks uh, uh, trucking in or hauling in all the coal that you're going to consume. It has internal capacity of 50 50 tons it has only two uh, external medium voltage cables uh, so this power plant will have to be built right next to the buildings that they are consuming power for the most part and then you have two medium voltage cables that you can spread out to your city now um, another downside is that it's only half the price of big uh, power plant that gives you high voltage cables, medium voltage cables, better efficiency and a little bit uh, less pollution per kilowatt uh, produced, oh, sorry, megawatt produced. So um, it has its downsides, but when you're starting your Republic, I think this is really, really something nice and I like having it. So this one produces from five tons of coal, it produces uh, 500 megawatt hours of power. Uh, this is l almost, almost a third of vanilla, but it consumes consumes uh, four and a half times or almost five times less coal. So product, uh, productivity wise is great. But on the other hand, you have the pollution thing. Pollution is uh, the big one that produces almost three times more electricity has double the pollution or 39.5 tons. While this one has almost 20 tons per year of uh, pollution of CO2 or let's go with pollution so uh, also the medium voltage connections are limited you only have two of them and i just want to suggest that you're going to have to use use the highest one so you can get that electricity away from the power plant and to, to your population centers or wherever you need it. Uh, also, there is no conveyor belt connection, so you cannot build any additional storage. So all the storage you're going to have is going to have to be 50 tons plus whatever trucks have on the back uh, while they're delivering it. So it has some limitations, but I believe it's quite realistic and I used, used it a lot and I suggest if you want to try using it yourself, but let me in the comment sections anyway for more details you have a link in the description of the video so uh, conclusion uh, some of these mods are more or less the same price as vanilla uh, some of them are a little bit cheaper like the power plant but they have their downsides that we presented here and some of them are extremely expensive like these beautiful transformer stations that we have here on the left hand side the bigger one costs over 55,000 rubles to build but it's worth every penny I always build that because it's something that I really need in my Republic Anyway, I really hope that this helped you guys and it's going to help you in the future with your electricity problems. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. You know the deal. Uh, you can always follow us on the social media. You have a Discord channel if you want to join and check out the nice little community that we are building. Uh, there are other YouTubers and modders there as well. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.